What's up, good people? Welcome to Bernard Riley Reviews, where we attack ideas and not people. We attack ideas and not people. Now, I wasn't going to cover this whole LaMelo Ball, Paul Pierce thing, because a part of me does feel like, hey, they're grown men, one older, one younger, but they're grown men doing what they're doing. Leave it alone. No don't care about it don't worry about it it it, it doesn't matter either way i'm not worried about it but it is some things worth highlighting with all of these things there's always things that brothers can look at and brothers can learn from so they're both going to catch a bit of criticism paul pierce more than mellow because he's older and you kind of should know better than to do stuff like that even though o'shea duke jackson gave a really good take on how it could be an opportunity for him an opportunity for him to strike out by himself and do his own thing do his own podcast which could be a good thing more brothers need to do that there's even a conversation to be had about brothers actually walking off the court starting their own lead and all of that and O'Shea always uh, does a good job covering um, that kind of thing so I'll touch on that but there's there's a, a lighter note <laughs> that I want to talk about here Let's starting with LaMelo Ball according to reports He was spotted with uh, Tiana Trump. You know who that is. If you don't know who that is, uh, do some Googling and you'll you'll, you'll do some Googling. You'll figure it out. Yeah, so he was seen out with her. And even before he was spotted out with her, they were, uh, she was seen at a Hornets game with his friends while he was playing and everything. So that's a situation where it kind of looks like they're kind of dating and it's always a weird situation when I see professional athletes, celebrities, entertainers out publicly with women like that. I mean, I'm from the school where, yes, you're successful, you're rich, you're going to have a good time with women like that, but you don't get caught out walking through the park holding hands with them. And that's what it reeks of when they're, they're being spotted out together, you know. You're LaMelo Ball, you're rich, you got millions of dollars, you're in the position of power. You can get chicks like her to come to your condo to hang out anytime. So when it comes to the public image aspect of it, and that's another thing I'm going to be talking about here, the public image aspect of it all, why be seen out and about like that? But then again, he's young. He's just a little over 18. And I know I turned 18 in the year of 2000. So if you gave me $10 million in the year of 2000, when I just turned 18, um, yeah, some of the hot adult film stars at the time probably would have got a call. Diana DeVoe, uh, Obsession, Caramel, Vanessa Blue might have got a call from me. Even if you gave me $10 million and I'm rich and famous while I'm 18, they probably probably would have got a call. Please don't. Google them and see what they look like. Then you're going to shame me and talk about me. But if, if you're younger, if you're younger, and you Google a current image of those um, uh, former adult film stars that I named, because right now they're looking like King Kong picked them up, balled them up, and threw them into the wall full speed. They done. It's over. They were hot in the 90s. So <laughs> don't judge me. But they, they would have got a call. They would have got a call. So that, that, that part of it, you know, you don't you don't knock LaMelo Ball for that. But then there's the aspect of a professional image to uphold. LeVar Ball, his dad, the, the NBA stage dad, was trying to say, hey, stay away. Stay away from them bros. But of course, he's going he gonna to get in there. He's going to get it in. He's going to do the thing. But it's a situation where, like, you don't got to be out publicly doing nothing with them chicks you in the position of power like you could have her and some of her um co-stars and the director and the cameraman all come to you to your condo and 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 shoot a private scene for you You don't got to be seen out in public caked up with with an adult film star that's that that's just how i operate that's how i think but to each his own and i'll I'll lay off mellow for that because i he's he's young i get it but um paul pierce it's another layer with this thing with Paul Pierce. It's a whole nother layer because here he is, a married man, married with children. It's like you kind of don't do that. You've been rich since 1997. You went through that LaMelo Ball stage. You know, uh, Paul Pierce in 1997, yeah, he probably was 
calling up Diana DeVoe and Vanessa Blue. Just like Lamelo uh, <laughs> reached out to Tiana Trump or she reached out to him. Either way, Paul Pierce probably Paul Pierce already went through that stage. So you've been there. So you like you know when a football player score a touchdown and he's 35 scoring a touchdown and he's still doing the doing the Dougie after he score a touchdown. The saying, hey, act like you've been there before, applies with Paul Pierce because you're beyond just a professional image of a basketball player who wants some endorsements. You got a professional image working as a commentator. You got a professional image to uphold. And so I, I'm looking at that like, why would he do that? Now, like I said, O'Shea Duke Jackson had an interesting theory that maybe he just didn't care because he wanted to strike out and do his own thing. Like a lot of athletes are doing. It's no more just um, hoping to get hired by ESPN. No, you, you strike out and you start up your own thing. And it's a lot of success, successful um, podcasters who are, former, who are former basketball players who have transitioned into that. And then you are in position where you can do whatever you want and live whatever lifestyle you want to live. But then he's, there's still the violation of, uh, shout out to how Kevin Samuels broke it down about high value men don't cheat. They, they just explored their options. Okay, so Paul Pierce was out there having a good time with the options. A code is being broke there then. You don't Instagram the, 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 the thotties. You don't go live on Instagram with the thotties. Even if you and your wife do got an arrangement, <laughs> you don't you don't go live on Instagram. Part of the arrangement, the deal is always <laughs> don't do nothing to embarrass him. And that was an embarrassing play right there. So there's problems with that. And there's criticism to be had. And brothers at 43, uh, yeah, act like you've been there before. Act like you've been to the dance. You got drafted in 97, 98. You, you've been here for a while. You've been rich for almost 25 years. You've been rich and famous for almost 25 years. So you don't got to be the dude with the camera out just ah, on the gram because some, some thoughts are, are, are twerking around. You've been there before. You've been there. You've done that. You've seen that like that. That's, that's, that's not a good, necessarily a good look for a 43 year old brother with a professional career. But like I said, a part of me don't care because you make it to the mountaintop as a man. You're the king of the world. You can do what you want to do. You can live how you want to live, play how you want to play. And there's the merry man side of things. And, and it just get messy and it just looks tacky. And it's just overall not a good look that right when LaMelo, who we can understand at his age, out hanging out with um with adult film stars it looks we, we at the same moment that he's out doing that when a 43 year old married man working for espn what a professional job that he's good at gets fired on some stuff that you expect the 21 year old to be doing that's messy that, that, that it, it, it is messy and it's not a good look because Paul, you can have that same good time without going live on the gram and them little chicks. You, you, you got the money and status to, to empty that whole room and get 10 more women in there and have that good time and record it and keep it for your private space. Nice. That's all I got today until this was Bernard Riley Reviews and we are out of here. Peace.